So Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order just came out on July 19th or July 18th if you want to download it from the Japanese eShop. But I just got it. Um, the last game for this, the uh, Ultimate Alliance 2, came out in 2006. So it's been quite a while since I played one, but I remember enjoying it back in the day. So I think I'll like this one too. It is exclusively on the Switch, so unless you have a Switch, you're not going to be playing it anytime soon. Sorry about that. So that's a deal they wanted to make with Nintendo. Seriously? No welcoming committee? Scans were right. We've got ourselves a ghost ship. Why would the Kree abandon a vessel of this caliber? I have a terrible feeling we are about to find out. Everyone work out their aggression on these poor, unsuspecting crates? Good. Moving on. Hey, free stuff! That's my favorite kind of stuff. Everyone, take cover! What are our options here, Rocket? Looks like there's only one way out. Oh! The bridge is falling apart. Try to jump over the gaps. Easy to say for the man with the ridiculous boot jets. Oh! I knew I should have stayed on the ship. Oh! Oh! Some fresh air. Those cells smelled worse than Rocket's bunk. Ah, now onward to sweet freedom. Hate to break it to you folks, but it won't be quite that easy. Yeah. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, his whole body's made of sand. Hitting him is useless. <laughs> Wow, that's quite the starting cast. Stop at one of these when you need assistance. So 
So it looks like right off the back we have 15 characters. Let's see how many there are in total. Looks like there's going to be 36 total characters. Um, unless there's some extras that they're going to add on. I don't know if they already made room for DLC, but there will definitely be DLC characters. Probably not in any of these blank spots, unless they're going to be like the early ones that are coming out pretty soon. Um, I'll see you after I, I start unlocking all the characters, if we can fill this up. Okay, so for my team composition, I'm thinking something like two tanks, so probably like the Hulk and Wolverine. Especially if he can like regenerate health, that'd be good. At least one projectile character, like one that can shoot from far away. Gotta go with Iron Man. And then, I'm just gonna, oh, that's not Black Widow. Where is Scarlet Witch? So this is what I'm thinking. Just say the magic word. I'll look at their um, abilities and whatnot in a second. But I'm thinking like, you know, two tanky offensive melee attackers like the Hulk and Wolverine. Then we can have Iron Man and Scarlet Witch kind of being long range attackers not getting hit by all the moves of the uh, melee computers and then i'm hoping that scarlet witch might have some kind of ability that can you know maybe give me extra health or something like that probably doctor strange can do that since he's a doctor <laughs> i know it has nothing to do with his powers necessarily but uh but we'll see as we unlock more characters, but I think this is what I'm going to start out as. Okay, and there's like a whole bunch of these things called team bonuses. So, um, and you can have all four in your team have them. There just needs to be at least two, and they get the bonus. So we got the big brains of, uh... Iron Man, and, uh, the Hulk has a big brain when he's not the Hulk when he's not angry yeah see they got a lot of different ones so many different uh, things and you get some kind of boost there we go okay so that's what all the different things do okay wow they'll just tell you all of them so you can uh, just go and Maybe go through these, see what you want. Looks like vitality, health, energy, mass. Don't know that is STR striking, seems like durability. So if once you start unlocking characters, you can kinda just go through and see, oh what do I want? Family values. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, you get the bonus right off if you have two. Because it, it says 1% for this one, let's just say. And then right next to it, three in your party have it, 2%. Everyone has it, 4%. I'm hoping this doesn't really uh, become what you need to beat the game later on because... I mean, I just want to pick my favorite characters and put them together. That's what it's all about. Somewhat strategic and my favorites. Okay, great. And then over here, active bonuses. We can see all the ones we have and what exactly. Restoration? Looks like you can heal. I assume everyone heals. Got some energy. Avengers, you might be saying, no, they're all Avengers. Um, no, see, Wolverine is part of New Avengers. Original Avengers. Right here for Hulk and Iron Man. Some Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I'm going to back out so I can check and see what kind of special abilities these guys have. 
Yeah, yeah so everyone's got that. The mastery, 3%, 2%. Okay. So their thing is at the top. He has strength. Is that it? Hulk smash with his strength. Whoa. Super strength. Okay, so that's his ability. That's kind of dumb. You can just pick up things and throw them. Oh, wow. It's right there in the, like, bottom left. Super strength. Okay. But if you press that button, it'll tell you what they do. Okay. So, healing factor. Regeneration, just as I thought. Element, fire, ice, and shock. I'm hoping that doesn't mean he's weak to it. Okay, gives it to weapons. Does that mean you can pick up weapons? Or weapons as in Wolverine's claws. I think that's what it means. But he can also heal. Heal faster. I don't know. Everyone might heal a little bit. Iron Man, flight. All he can do is fly. I think that's what it said for Scarlet Witch. Flight. Alright, we need to go back and change our team up then. Sorry, Scarlet Witch. I wanted you to be, like, a support character. You can fly. I was flying with you earlier. Spider-Man can sling webs. Okay, whatever their moves. Wow, I don't know how to do it from here. That's going to take some time. That is the only way I know to do it. Go all the way back out. She can fly. It's like all of them can fly. There's no way. You got to be able to do it from here. There is no way. Wow, that's so dumb. I think you can only, you have to go like back to like check their stupid ability. Why can't you do it from here? This is ridiculous. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the only way you can do it. Flight, super strength, electricity resistance, and shock. Yeah, um, little OP. But also a tank. I would really like two up close and personal. And, uh... Two, like, projectiles probably the best. But, we'll just go and check base stats right now. The Hulk. Got some good amount of HP. You can see on the right this little chart. Pretty well rounded. Let's see, so he's 5,600. What's Wolverine got? 4,300. So the Hulk is tankier. Thor. 5,000, yeah, 5,000, the, the Hulk is just going to be a tank. Iron Man's got a special suit, but he's a little, just, you know, Hulk is tank. So, as we keep unlocking characters, we're going to want to check out abilities. But, the thing is, when you unlock new characters... The way it worked in the old game, so I think it's going to work in this game, is you get them at, like, a low level. I'm not thinking they're going to level up with your characters, but right now, like, all of them are level 6, I think. Oh, yeah, some are level 7. Maybe they're a base level, depending on how far you get in the game. So, since all these guys just going to unlock through level 6. Level 7 for the ones I was playing with. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, but, uh, you know, may maybe you want to do all projectile, you know, some lo all long range, all melee. You can definitely get some team bonuses from that.
Yep, just have to keep checking the characters as we go. Alright, I think that's enough for today. See you guys in the next one.